All right, what's going on y'all? Chuck Nunface here. And today we're just gonna go and do a quick video on uh, waterproofing your leather sheets. So, um, you know, there's lots of different ways to kind of go about this. I'm sure there's many different ways. Uh, I'll just kind of go over the way that I learned how to do it. And I just learned it from watching YouTube. I am not the first person to come up with this. Um, so there's different ways you can go about treating leather sheets. You can use conditioners and mink oil and stuff like that. So I traditionally, I use mink oil, um, but it's not necessarily a waterproofer. So if you want to do a waterproofer, this was, is what was recommended to me. This is called a snow seal. Um, you can get this probably at most hardware stores, but depending on where you live regionally, you may not find it. Um, so I don't know, but I just got this on Amazon. So a big old tin of this was like eight, eight, nine dollars on Amazon. And so this is what's been recommended. So what you want to do is, uh, there's nothing really special as far as, uh, the application of this. You just want to heat up your sheath, take the knife out of it, heat up your sheath. Um, there's lots of different ways you can do it. It says you can use a, a, a blow dryer. Uh, you can lay it, put it in the sun by a window. You can probably sit on it, you know, any, any old way just to kind of heat up the sheath. Cause you want the, uh, you want the, the wax to melt and really permeate that leather and get inside and get absorbed by the leather. Um, so that's what you're going for there. So, um, what we will do, go ahead and remove this very cool Bark River Aurora 2. And we'll go ahead and get started. Now, all you'll need is you'll need your snow seal, you need a rag, and you'll need a hair dryer as well. So I just got my wife's hair dryer here. And when you're done, it will change the look of the sheet. So, you know, that's the untreated look of the sheet, and then it's gonna darken it up. It's gonna give, you know, just, so just be aware your sheet will look different. So this is a regular Aurora sheet, this is a Aurora 2 sheet. Um, it will change the look of it, but frankly, I think it looks better uh, with that, that beeswax in it, because that's what the primary ingredient of in this is. Um, leather protection, I think it's pretty much, yeah, beeswax waterproofing, so. Good stuff right there. So hopefully this sound isn't too horrible, um, but I'll go ahead and uh, just kind of get started here, and um, hopefully it won't, the sound won't come across too terrible on video. Want to warm it up? Nothing crazy. All right, so we'll just kind of get that. That's warmed up. We'll work kind of quick here. We'll get our rag and just get a little glob on there and we'll start applying it into the leather, working it into the leather, just like that. Nothing fancy. Working it into the leather. Give it a little more heat. using just kind of get it going in there a little bit more I'm pretty generous with it you don't really I don't think you need to be too too stingy with it I get it all in there in the stitching and everything else I'm not shy I get it all over there get it on the fire steel holder all around sides just make sure it gets in there good and I'll get it with a little more heat and don't worry if it kind of gets in the, the the rivets right there you can melt that out it's not a big deal that. 
that later. So now we'll go ahead and do the other side. doing this and these sheets by and large I generally you know I do like them but I have liked some of the older Bark River style sheets I don't have any of those but this one in particular it looks like they are kind of kind of sloppy with the cutouts there but whatever doesn't affect it but it would have been nice if there wasn't that kind of furch Hanging off the sides there. All right, I think we'll do a little more heat. do it. I always want to make sure I get underneath the loops. It's kind of a little harder with this one because I don't loop anything through there. Uh, that should pretty much do it. Now it's gonna it's just gonna kind of soak all in there. I mean it pretty much has already. It's just soaked in there and uh, just let it, I don't know, I don't think you really need to let it sit or anything like that. Maybe just absorb a little bit more. I'll probably hit it with a little bit more heat um, off camera uh, after I'm done here and uh, just call it a day with that. So in any case, just wanted to do this quick little video. Um, very simple way, very cheap way to waterproof your leather sheaths. Um, just bear in mind, it will change the color on untreated leather. It may change the color on dyed leather, make it a little darker. So just kind of something to be aware of. So that's going to do it for me today. Uh, if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing to the channel. I certainly would appreciate it. I'll do my best to earn your subscription, your like, and your, uh, if you want to leave a comment, I would definitely appreciate that too. Give me a follow on Instagram at Chuck underscore Nunface and stay tuned for more. Peace.